Big welcome everybody to our free tutorial classes, Top Tips for Conditioning Flowers. For anybody that hasn't joined us before for these free classes, I do recommend getting yourself a notebook and pen so that you can take down a couple of notes as we go along. Remember you can always pause this video and again you can re-watch it at a later stage. You can also do me a favour by sharing our video. Again, you will help to kind of like build up our analytics with social media. And again, it's getting the word out there. So today we're going to talk about Estrancia. Isn't this just an amazing flower, okay? I suppose the nickname for it, Hattie's Pink Cushion. You know that way when you look at the little flower, like it's all like little pins kind of in a pink cushion. And the variety that I have here is called Billion Star White. Write that down, do you know that way? Because again, it is available in other kind of like shades, but if you're looking for this particular variety. So what year, what time of the year is it available? So March to November is when it's readily available, but you will find like May to October is when it's actually in season and where you'll find then that the prices are going to be a little bit lower. With all flowers, if you buy a flower when it's in season, it is going to be that little bit cheaper than when it's out of season. It's a real cottage garden flower, isn't it? You know that way. So you know if you're kind of looking for that, I've just went out to the garden and, you know, gathered a couple of flowers. It definitely gives that effect. And to use it as a filler, instead of your normal wax flower or jip or solid ask or hypericum berry, again, I just find it amazing. Now, depending on the time of year or what year you happen to be watching this video, um, at the moment, we would find that we have a lot of demand for the colour sage, okay? As in the bridesmaid's dresses are kind of a sage colour. And I would have a lot of students contacting me and saying, like, what can I get? And I said, God, like, if you get that billion star uh, white, it kind of has that sagey green off it as well. And it's brilliant to include, even if it's with creamy white flowers or green viburnum or white roses or whatever it may be. Again, it gives a lovely texture and absolutely fantastic shades. But again, it is available in other colours. I suppose the creamy white I particularly prefer. But again, you can get pale pink, you can get dark pink, and you can get a burgundy shade. So again, if you have a bride that has other shades in mind, absolutely. It likes temperatures of 8 to 10 degrees Celsius, you know, that way. And you will find then, if you keep it that little bit cooler, you can get up to the 7 days out of it. It doesn't really last out of water, even though I will recommend using it for wedding bouquets. But what I would say to you is make sure that you have specifically treated it and conditioned it to its best for it then to last out of water. So, first of all, it likes flower food added to the water. So again, any of the flower food brands that you have, I suppose Chrysler is probably one of the most popular. It's very sensitive to bacteria and ethylene gas. So, like most flowers, remove the plastic. That allows any ethylene gas to escape. And if you have any old flowers in the room, you know the way to remove them. And if you have any old or ripened kind of fruit and veg, get rid of them as well. For anybody that's buying it in wholesale, the minimum you can buy is 50 stems, which is quite a lot. And normally then it's divided into five bunches of 10. So that's 10 stems. There we go, there's another 10 stems. Now this is quite dehydrated because it's just in from Holland, okay? I've just unpacked it from a box and I just want to go through the conditioning and treatment of it that you can see exactly what it looks like. But there is quite a lot of flour here. And again, you can use it in lots of things, like not just wedding work, use it in your flour arranging and use it in your hand tied presentation bouquets. It's not a great one for floral foam because it has a hollow stem, so it means it's difficult to kind of insert. Then it also drinks a lot of water, and if you're not inclined to top up your floral foam with water, you'll find then it'll go, um, go kind of wilty fairly fast. It's a really easy flower to dry, so if you have lots of it left over, so it's a bit like, you know when you buy in the limonium or the status or the gypsophila, and you have stuff left over, all you have to do is tie a piece of twine around the end of it, hang it upside down in a darkish, dry, well-ventilated area, and it'll just dry out. It normally takes about two to three weeks to dry out. It's beautiful with summer flowers. So any flowers that you happen to be using, whether it be anemones or anuclas or even the heliboris in kind of like winter, springtime, it's just it's an amazing flower. You can wire it up. You kind of get that straw kind of texture to it. And again, once it has been well conditioned, you could wire it and you could use it in corsage work or flower crowns. But I would only recommend doing that the morning of the wedding because as I said, it wouldn't be the best last around water. So where a lot of flowers you could do with the evening before but again anybody from our module 3 or again I do have these videos posted up on YouTube the hydration unit 
The hydration unit works amazingly for strontia. You know that way? So it's a brilliant um, technique. And again, it can prolong the life of it. So again, if you want to use for wired corsage work, whether it be cake top decorations or flare crowns or wrist corsages, hat corsages, cake top decorations, like anything that you want to use it for. If you first of all prepare it in the hydration unit, and again, you'll definitely get the day of the wedding out of it. Hopefully that's giving you a couple of top tips. Remove any of the leaves, cut an inch off the end, place it in clean water, place flower food in the water, and change your water every two to three days. The more often you change the water, the longer your flowers are going to last. If anybody has any questions at all, post them in the comments below. We respond to all the questions and all the comments that are posted under our videos. Again, if you're inquiring about the classes, why not drop us an email? Info at flowerschoolireland.com And hopefully uh, you'll join us again for more of these top tricks, top tips and tricks for prolonging the life of your flowers. Again, I'd appreciate if you clicked share. And for any of our newbies, big welcome and hope to see you again. My name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School.